Hello and welcome back to SciTitech. In this video, I'm going to show you to program an ATtiny 85 microcontroller with using an Arduino Nano. And I'm going to show you how to do that step by step in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> First, I'm going to take the ATtiny85 microcontroller and place it into the breadboard. And then, I'm going to take the Arduino Nano and also place it into the breadboard. And now, according to the schematic from a previous video, I showed you how to program using an Arduino Uno to be able to program the ATtiny85 microcontroller. And according to this schematic, this is exactly how you set it up. And for an Arduino Nano and an Arduino Uno, the same pinouts are exactly the same. So both rules apply. Just click on the info card on the corner of the screen, and you'll be able to see a previous video of how I programmed an ATtiny85 microcontroller with using an Arduino Uno. Both rules still apply. So what I need to do is I need to attach the same pinouts from pin 8, 7, 6, 5, to the same pins that are located here onto the Arduino Nano. Next, I'm going to take some jumper cables and wire everything together. Start with the first jumper cable and connect it to pin 8 of the ATtiny, which is the voltage input, and connect that to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino Nano. And now I'll take another jumper cable and connect to pin 4, which is the ground of the ATtiny, and of course, connected to the ground of the Arduino Nano. And now take another jumper cable, connect it to pin 7, and connect that to the D13, which is data pin 13 of the Arduino Nano. Connect another jumper cable on pin 6 of the ATtiny, and connect that to D12, data pin 12. Another jumper cable onto pin 5 of the ATtiny, and connect that to data pin 11. And I'll take a final jumper cable and connect that to pin 1 of the ATtiny85 microcontroller and connect that to D10 or data pin 10 of the Arduino Nano. And there, all the jumper cables are now connected and the ATtiny85 microcontroller is now connected to the Arduino Nano. And now it's time to program the Arduino Nano and then program the ATtiny85. First, what I need to do is remove the ATtiny85 microcontroller, because what I need to do is program the Arduino Nano first. And I'll plug in the Arduino Nano to the computer. And now let's go ahead and open up the Arduino program, and what you need to do is you need to program the Arduino Nano first. Go over to Tools, change the board type. Scroll up, and you're going to want to click on Arduino Nano. Go back to Tools. Make sure it's the right kind of microcontroller, and it's the 18 Mega 328P. That's correct. USB port, which is COM4. And you're going to need to change the programmer type. Change it to Arduino ISP. Double check to make sure everything is correct. Click on Tools, Arduino Nano, correct, ATmega328P, correct, port COM4, correct, and now Programmer Arduino ISP, perfect. And now what you need to do is you're going to need to go to File, go to Examples, go over to number 11, which is Arduino ISP. Since the Arduino Nano is now programmed, it is time to program the ATtiny85 microcontroller. Place it back into the breadboard, just like this. And there, now it's time to plug it into the computer and program the ATtiny85 microcontroller. And now what you need to do is go up to Tools, click on Tools, change the board type, scroll down, 
and click on Eighty Tiny Eighty Five. Go back to Tools and make sure that everything is correct. Good. The board is set to Eighty Tiny Eighty Five. Make sure chip type is Eighty Tiny Eighty Five. Make sure the clock frequency is set on one megahertz. Some people may say put it on to 8 megahertz, but I find using this blink code will cause the LED to blink a lot slower. This might cause other codes to function a lot slower, but this may not apply to all different codes. So in my case, I want to set it to 1 megahertz. Make sure it's set at 1 megahertz. Go back. Make sure the port number is COM4 because that's what the Arduino Nano is connected to. And very important, you need to change the programmer. It's not Arduino ISP, you need to set it as Arduino as ISP. And there, now you're ready to go ahead and install the code. Go over to File, go to Examples, Basics, click on Blink, and you have a new code window. Open it up, and as you can see, LED pin. What you need to do is change it to zero because that will be on pin five, which is set as program pin zero on the on the eighty tiny eighty five microcontroller. Change built in. Put zero. This one. Zero. And this one. Zero. And now you are ready to upload this code. And there you have it. Now you have programmed the ATtiny 85 microcontroller. Now let's go ahead and test it out and see how it looks. And there we go. Everything is now programmed. I'll go ahead and do that. I can go ahead and do this. Take the ATtiny, place it right here, just like that. And now let's go do a quick test. I have right here an, a, a random LED that I found in a drawer. And I'm going to go ahead and connect the anode which is on this side, and the cathode, which is on this side. Connect the anode over to pin 5, and the cathode onto a free rail. Connect it, just like this. There we go, just like that. And now, what I'm going to do is take some jumper cables. Take a jumper cable, and connect it to connect the cathode, and connect the other end of the jumper cable over to pin 4. Take another jumper cable, connect it to pin 8, and another jumper cable over to pin 4. And now, all I have to do is just simply take a 3 volt button cell battery. This side's negative, this side's positive. I'm going to connect the pin 4, which is negative, right here. And I'm going to take this positive with pin 8, which is positive, to connect it to positive. And as you can see, it works. Let's see with better lighting. And there, as you can see, it works. And there you have it. Now you know how to program an ATtiny 85 microcontroller with using an Arduino Nano. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. To the next tech, goodbye.